For the people who are struggling to comprehend my last video about the R. Kelly protest, let me break it down for you. When you protesting for a cause, you have to be mindful when you attempt to step on the front line. Be ready to respond to people with respect and facts, not ignorance and attitude. Have some discipline. How can anybody, first of all, support R. Kelly if they can't support themselves? Get your priorities in order. How does begging for money online to support your necessities support R. Kelly? How does that benefit him? How does that help him? Don't worry, i wait. Not at all. How can him and his attorneys focus on his case when you have people on the sideline interfering with a bunch of foolishness jeopardizing his case? Riddle me that too. I'll wait. How does yelling out obscenities walking up and down the street help that man? I just want to know. Because I'm confused. I understand there's an audience for everything, but R. Kelly's case is a serious matter. A man's life is on the line. That man is literally fighting for his life. So to insert yourself into something that has nothing to do with you for your own personal gain and or bringing unneeded drama... It's selfish and disrespectful. Anything other than shedding light on the injustice in that man case is absolutely redundant. Last time I checked, R. Kelly ain't asked his fans, supporters, whatever, whoever, for nothing. That man can handle his own legal fees. When people say, this fight ain't easy. It's not your fight. He didn't ask you to fight. That's why he hired a legal team. That's what he paid his legal team for. To fight for him. It's not your job. Okay? People need to stop making excuses. And stop using that man's name for clout. To come up off that man's name. The nerve of some people. Man, y'all playing in that man's face like that man. Life ain't real. That man fighting for his life. Man, that man facing 25 years in prison. And y'all playing with that man's name. Y'all playing with that man's case. For real? Sad.